Election night 40 years ago changed history in Dallas County. It was the night the Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price became the first and still only black member of the commissioner's court. Steve Pickett takes us through the longest or through the years, I should say, of the longest serving and arguably the most controversial politician in Dallas. The label I, I give me is servant. He may be the most recognizable face and name in Dallas's political landscape. Revered and reviled for years, 40 years, pushing, prodding, protesting, and picketing. I've been here 40 years as a commissioner. I was here 10 years as assistant to a judge, and I've only missed 90 days of work. Got a motion to second. John Wiley Price, Dallas County's longest serving elected official, a county commissioner. Yes, this what, what have you received? Come to order, come to order. So what? Make me come to order. Nope. Don't, I do not apologize. Confrontational, combative, combustible, committed. And I get angry about the right kind of things. Since his election on the November night in 1984, Price remains a lead captain in the campaign to ensure people of mostly Southern Dallas District 3 We're not going away. benefited from the county's multi-billion dollar system of public health, public safety and service in courts and corrections, and jobs. For the last four or five years, this woman has been constantly uh, badgering and assaulting African-American men. Critics have called him a racial rabble rouser using threats and intimidation under the cloak of civic and civil activism. Inside his downtown Dallas office, I asked him about his motivation for running for office 40 years ago. You know, too long, as Frederick Douglass said, has others spoken for us. It's time for us to speak uh, for ourselves. Steve, I don't really even know if I had a platform. It was, it was the fact that at the county level, there was basically no, no represent, representation. No just or no peace. No representation meant no relief from Price's passion-fueled protests on Dallas streets, his demand for black representation in school district operations, his marches outside Dallas media outlets, or the lack of minority and women firms being awarded multi-million dollar construction and other service contracts for local public projects. Today, 40 years later, change is evident. Minority judges leading criminal courtrooms in Dallas, diversity for the county's health system, even jail detention jobs. But Price wants more. The majority of my district judges are African-American, females. But my thing is accountability now. Are you working? Parkland will tell you, I'm advocating for African-American. Doctors don't run hospitals, nurses do. For years now, he has sat as the ranking member of Dallas County's elected body of representatives. But Price has also held the other title, the outsider, the leader known to many in black Dallas as, quote, our man downtown. What did it mean then and what does it mean now when they say our man downtown? Now it means that uh, I have kind of validated myself. It's, it's not just a... a colloquialism or a statement, you know, he's our man, a, a niche word. That means that he represents us. Price remains Dallas County's only elected black member of the court. Jury is spoken. But he's also the only one who faced criminal indictment on multiple bribery and tax fraud charges. A jury found him not guilty or hung on all charges. A judge did sentence him to jail back in 1991 for his actions during a protest. And his supporters back then backed him with a protest at that jail. I don't know if you care one way or the other, but what do you think when you're still defined as the villain of Dallas County? I don't care one way or the other. He turned 75 this year. As Dallas has grown, Mr. Price knows his seat at the decision-making table has been part of that growth, complete with that our man downtown attitude. At least if they say John Wiley Price, I want him to be able to look and say, you know, he was on mission, he built, he made things better than when he found them. And we're not backing down. In Dallas, Steve Pickett, CBS News, Texas.